So uh, today we're going to uh, do a little demo of, of uh, how to uh, do cartoon characters using uh, construction. Um, for those who have just started out uh, drawing, uh, you may not really think in terms of constructed form. You may be just drawing something line by line. And the problem with that is that uh, you may end up with a, a drawing that is uh, not totally in control. Uh, the elements of the drawing may not be doing what you want it to do. So that's why it's better to, to build up uh, gradually from a basic form. So what I have here, uh, these are four poses of a very simple little cartoon character. And uh, this was done originally for a, a cartooning class I taught. And it was to give the students the idea of, of how a, a character starts out. So these, these drawings, before they got to this stage, actually started out like this. And as you can see, these are uh, just very simple, uh, basic forms uh, stuck together, just simple ovals or egg shapes, really, because you can think of them in terms of three dimension. And uh, you can see these, uh, these guidelines that are placed on these shapes in order to accurately place the, the features so that when the character turns in different directions those features are always in the same spot. Um, and likewise the, the arms and legs can be accurately placed using these guidelines. So this is, uh, this is how we start out. So I'll give a, a quick demonstration using the same character. And uh, he's a very simple character. Um, and uh, so I'm just going to come up with a new pose for this guy. So let's imagine that he's, uh, uh, he's off, uh, racing off to somewhere very quickly, a fast run. So uh, how would I start that out? One, one thing that you want to start out when you're doing an action pose is think of uh, what we call the line of action. So the line of action in this case, I'm running in this direction. You just sort of think of where the character is going to and which way his body is leaning. A little bit more up right here. Um, on top of this, we start to build our basic forms. I do so very loosely in the beginning. There's his head shape, his body, as you can see, it's following this line of action. And then going to do his legs first of all. Let's, uh, let's have his right leg coming out in front, back leg going out behind like that. I should also be indicating these, uh, these grid lines that I've established on here. So if the character is looking in this direction, these grid lines should be following the same direction on the head. There's a line where his, his eyes are going to be placed. On his body, there's a center line that will help to place the details of his shirt and his belt buckle. So if I've got his legs in this position, right leg in front and left leg going back like this. Remember in, in a run that the, uh, the arms and legs have to alternate. So if his left leg is going back, then his left arm will have to be coming forward like this. So we're just indicating it very simply at the moment. And just think of the way that's joining onto the body. His, um, his right arm, you're probably not going to see very much of. You know, it's the elbow, or sorry, the shoulder would be over here. The elbow, you might see a little bit of the elbow just peeking out from the back there. But uh, you're not going to see very much of that arm because it's, it's going back behind him. Um, <clears throat> we have these grid lines. We can start building some of these simple details. Draw the eyes on either side of that grid line. It's got this round nose. You want to make sure that it feels like it's fitting comfortably along that same grid line. This 
line here, it goes around his body. You want to make sure you're feeling that curve around the body. So there we have sort of the simple constructive form. Now we can start building on details. So it's a gradual process. Um, the whole drawing has to uh, gradually evolve. You don't have to finish anything too far ahead of the rest of it. So, first of all, think of his, uh, his expression. How's he feeling as he's running? I'm going to make out that he's, uh, he's kind of worried. His mouth is going to be open like that. And uh, he's sort of looking straight forward in the direction that he's running. And sort of a, a worried look on his, his face like that. And his ears, the side of his head. Think of the way the hair wraps around the head form. Okay, let's uh, move on to some of his body. His hands, think of the way the fingers would wrap around in that fist shape, and then the thumb would wrap around on top of the fingers. These grid lines are good for placing detail. You can see he's got this shirt collar that uh, meets in the middle here. And his belt line has been determined. And so his belt buckle, again, would be placed along that center line in perspective. Uh, let's see, on his arms, he's got short sleeves. Think of the way when these arms are moving forward, the way that shirt sleeve might be stretched. So being pressed against the forward moving part of the arm and dangling loosely at the back. His feet, and think of the perspective. Here's a view of the underside of his feet right here. As you're building those feet, think of that, the underside that we're seeing a lot of in, in that position. On the other leg, foot is going back. We're seeing more of the top side of that foot. His, uh, his pants, just like the sleeves, probably tighter against part of his leg that's coming forward. So, here we have the whole thing roughed in. We can start to uh, uh, refine our drawing a little bit more at this point. 